Hello, hello, welcome to part one of another travel vlog. This time we're taking over Switzerland, Germany, Liechtenstein and Austria, so stay tuned for part two and three. As always, we start with our trip at Copenhagen Airport at 4 a.m. for an early morning flight to Zurich with a layover in Amsterdam. Unfortunately, there were some technical problems with our flight and we made an emergency landing in Amsterdam after 20-ish minutes of flying, but thank god everything was fine and we were all saved and thanks to the lovely crew and our pilot. We arrived in Switzerland after a few hours, ready for a nice trip and ready to create some new memories with our close family and our beautiful niece. Our first stop was Lake Klunthalerse, hopefully I pronounced that right, which is situated in eastern Switzerland in the canton of Glarus. It is accessible by personal vehicle, which was amazing for us, and it's known for the incredible nature beauties and the excellent hiking opportunities. And this pure nature attracts numerous outdoor adventures every season of the year. We were lucky enough to come early spring. After the nice hike and the fresh air, we decided to go for a lunch at this lovely Italian restaurant where I had one of the best pizzas I've ever tasted. We got some coffee and snacks on the way home and we were on the ferry that's connecting the Swiss and the German side through Lake Constance. We were quite tired and we couldn't wait to get home and get some rest and there is Jana, our niece. And yeah, that was about it for the first day, so see you tomorrow. Good morning from Germany. We were welcomed by the spring rain, but that definitely didn't stop us from going out to another adventure. After the lovely breakfast, we were heading to Liechtenstein to explore the capital called Vaduz. Liechtenstein is the fourth smallest country in Europe, but one of the wealthiest also. The Principality of Liechtenstein is located in the heart of Europe's Alpine region between Switzerland and Austria. And even though it was pouring rain, we couldn't miss the thrill and the opportunity of exploring another city we've never been to before. We visited the cathedral, which is in the center of the city also, and it was beautiful even on the grey day. The windows and the interior of the cathedral was simply stunning. We spent some time here admiring the beauties of every corner and every window and then we were off again to continue our journey. We walked around a bit more and then we decided to head back to Germany and spend the rest of the day at home enjoying the rain from inside. We had a lot of time on our hands and a rainy afternoon in front of us, so we decided to make some arts and crafts with Jana and we started by making these friendship bracelets, which I promised that I will put into this vlog. These are our final results and they turned out really cute. Then we continued with a painting session and I really love these activities because it brings out my creativity and I also get to spend some quality time with our niece and it's always fun to do that. In my opinion, we created some amazing art that's going to be a memory from this trip. And then we've put on some makeup, had some fun with filters and off we went to celebrating a birthday. It was a nice ending to a beautiful and amazing day where we created a lot of new memories. Even though we were soaked from the rain, it was still nice. We enjoyed some cake and we played some PlayStation afterwards. That's all for the vlog, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video, bye!